Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna make a favorite style, a global style. Today we said we're gonna do some pineapple upside down. VIP style, okay? Check my ingredients out. Chop class, start now, all right? So for this, we need a cup and a half of flour. I have it in here. I already tip it, so it's more fluffy because it's kind of baking a cake like what you're gonna turn up, probably not even be as fluffy as a cake with the amount of ingredients we're gonna put in here, okay? I got um, one teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, that's all the dry right there and quarter teaspoon salt. It's all the dry right here, okay? Over here, we got yogurt, milk, vanilla, and a little bit of pineapple juice. So, pineapple juice, we have quarter cup. Um, milk, we have one third of a cup. Yogurt, quarter cup. Um, pineapple juice, I probably said it already and just one teaspoon of vanilla in there, okay? Over here we got cherries, cause you know you cannot make it without cherries. Over here we got one stick in grams, that 60 gram melted butter. Over here we got half a cup sugar, brown sugar. This is not fully brown, it's organic sugar that I get from store, but I'm gonna use it instead of the brown sugar, okay? All right, so. Let's start with that and then, you know, let's finish into the ingredients. Here we got half a cup of sugar. This is what we're going to mix first and then add the butter to it. We got 115 grams of butter. We can have it room temperature. So we're going to put it in this and kind of make like a cream out of it. So first thing first, what we're going to do, we're going to start, you know, get the stuff into the pans. And we got two eggs as well. Okay, we're going to add them. One first, then the other one, not everything at the same time. So what I want to do first, get the butter in here. Make sure it's all over the pan. What I do, I get the pan in the freezer a bit, yeah? So the butter stick directly back to it. You want some on the side as well. Make sure you get some on the side. Oh, you gotta put all this butter in there. So when I put it in the freezer, when I do that, it just stick onto it. It's not really runny. If the butter is warm, okay? All right, let's get all of this in here. All right, so. Just gonna get that going right there. On the side like that. Nice coated because when you cook it, you want it to drop back out. All right, down right there, down right there. So now we're gonna add the sugar. Make sure the sugar and get on the side too as well, a little bit on the side. It's a lot of sugar. This cake take a lot of sugar, so make sure a little bit get on the side as well, caramelizing. Then even distribute on the bottom. Try to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna add pineapple. So normally what I do, I start from the middle, you know, and then work the rest around. like that and um, for the rest I just cut them and try to kind of fit them in and where they're supposed to fit in just like 
that. Just like that. Now for the cherry. If you have enough pineapple, you want to put some on the side, you can go ahead and put some on the side, okay? Just like that. So that is easy, you know? Here we have it, so we're just going to use it up, okay? Yeah, so that's right there for the bottom. When we come up, we're going to get into you know mixing up the ingredients and adding stuff slowly to it, all right? So, yeah, right here we got 115 gram of butter, one stick of butter. I don't have a stick, so I just cut it off weight on my scale. My scale right here, make sure I get the right you know position that we need in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in here. A little bit left right here, so scrape up all of that, one all of it. I normally put you know maybe one gram extra just in case because sometimes some leave off into the container. So you wanna buzz this together right now, make it nice, you know. Yeah, I'll put it till it comes creamy and all of that. So when we come back, we're gonna show you when it is finished mud and all of that. This is the consistency you're looking for right here. Let me see, everything come together. So what I wanna do with the flour, I'm gonna do half, half of it. You know, and then we are Everything come together, you know? Yeah. Uh, we'll come up, we're gonna get into when everything is together. So I don't need to listen to these lines. So this is what you're looking for after. So off camera I did add the egg to the butter and the sugar. Make like a meringue. It's not really a meringue because the yolk is in there. If it was only white or it would be a meringue, but I add that to that. So now I'm gonna add the liquid, yeah? Put half first. Okay, you know, sometimes some recipe is not exactly the same. So you want to make sure you don't over, you know, make it too soft. I'm mixing now. I'm just gonna use my spatula to fold it in. All right. Put this back over here. Stand up better like that. Yeah, do the rest of this to just fold them in. You know? Yeah. Look at that. That's what you're looking for. Consistent. That kind of consistency right there. Not too dry. Not too wet. See that? Yeah. And the cake consistent. So what we're gonna do now? I'm gonna put it in the pan. Right here. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's okay. It'll work. And we bake it at 350. 30 minutes but I'm gonna put 25 minutes 350 then I'm just gonna check it to make sure 
everything is good because some oven um, work better than some so I normally try to put it for less time and then I check it you know make sure it's good When we come back, we'll let it sit for two minutes. When we come back, we're gonna go in the oven, okay? All right, so it's good to go. I'm gonna set the timer. We're doing 25 minutes, as we say, over the 350. Pop him in here, just like that. I'm gonna let it stay. When my timer go off, I'm gonna come and check it. If you need five more minutes, I'm gonna give you five more minutes. Because normally, it go for 30 minutes, and it's supposed to be ready and perfectly. Cool down for another 10 minutes and flip it out. And we're gonna try a piece, VIP style. So yeah, after 30 minutes, I end up giving it another five more minutes cause it was still wet in the middle. Now we're gonna check it. Two big tests right there. You see that? Perfect, not wet so definitely it's ready to go. So we're gonna bring it over here and put it under table right here let it cool out for 10 minutes and then we're gonna flip it over okay so all right flipping time let's see it's a little bit warm on on the bottom still but figure it out everybody's gonna be surprised I'm gonna be surprised I will to see what it look like Woo! whoa 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 that look nice huh mm -hmm. pineapple upside down look very nice Yep, look at that. We're gonna wait for it to cool, then we're gonna get into it, okay? All right, so we wanna cut a piece, put it on the plate. Still a little bit warm, so, you know, see what's going on right here. Mm -hmm. Normally we do like four, and then cut four into four, and then four into four. Okay. So, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Whoa. Perfect. See that? That's what you're looking for. Perfect piece of cut right there. Mm -hmm. Let's put it on the side right here. Set it on the top. Still warm, you can see the steam coming out of it. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, you know, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know. Thank you guys you know, for sticking with us. Pineapple upside down, VIP style. Blessed guidance and protection. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell, tell a friend, tell a friend, peace.